simple. It's not hard to get a library card. Like I stated before, not hard at all. It's zero cost. Yes, because we are a public library. Mm -hmm. So did you want to go ahead and get started on that library card? Great. Okay. Let me get it pulled up. Okay. Are you 18 or older? Great. Okay. Okay. All right. down really quick, okay? Okay. So, so we're looking at a year-long library card. I'm gonna go ahead and do it for a year. After a year, usually it's what we typically give people. After a year, you will have to renew your library card, okay? And since you are over the age of 18, no mom and dad needed, okay? This is really simple, it's really nice and easy. We try to make this really easy for everybody, okay? I'm not sure, have you looked around yet? Yeah? Okay, so just give you a little bit about us. We do do events during the summertime, summer reading programs. I'm not sure if you have young, younger sisters or younger brothers. If you do, feel free, even if yourself wants to do that. You can come by during the summer and we do just some summer reading programs. And if you read a certain amount of books that we assign you, you get prizes, we have pizza parties. It's really nice and also helps everybody just engage with the community and really keep your mind engaged exactly during the summer a lot of times people yeah exactly you fall off during the summertime yeah also we do offer a game room in our library you can check out games movies dvds vhs tapes pretty much anything that you can think of we check it out. Mm hmm Okay. Yes. Video games. I know. It's been one of our more recent additions to the library with the way the world is going. We want to be able to offer anything. Exactly. And of course, we do have free Wi-Fi and we have a public computer lab. Exactly. No charge. All right. So got that all pulled up. Now I just need your first and last name. Okay. You said there's no hyphens? Okay. I love when people have two last names. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. No, actually, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna do all capitals. That way it just looks cleaner. I love a good clean look. Okay? Okay, great. All right. So let's, yeah, all capitals, good. Good look, okay. First, last, no hyphen. Okay, let me tab that. Okay, and what is your date of birth? Okay. Okay. You're a October baby. Happy Halloween, October 31st. That is pretty cool, if you ask me. I, myself, I'm born on December 31st, and I'm not sure how do you feel about being born on a holiday? Right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't mind it too much. It's okay. Yeah. It, it gets better over time, I'm sure. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the next section, okay? Let me scoot this over. All right. And what is a good phone number to reach you? We used to ask people a long time ago, like, what's their home phone number and what's their cell phone number? But not a lot of people have home phones anymore. So we just ask, what's the best number to reach you at? Okay. Okay. Let's, area code first. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Amazing. All right. Let's go ahead and get that in there. And that is a cell phone number, correct? Great. Awesome. No, I do the same thing. I use cell phones for everything. I used to use this thing called Magic Jack. It was a thing back in the day. Instead of getting a, a home bill or, um, you know, anything that's connected to a service, you get a thumb drive and you stick it to the desktop in your home computer and it's it gives you a phone number for, for about 20 bucks a month instead of paying a hundred and something dollars for a home phone. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we loved it for the time that we had it. It really, it really was. It really was. Okay. So now, okay. I'm just going to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we're going to do your street address. What is the street address? Okay. Okay. Okay, what city? Okay. Uh, state, I'm guessing the one that we're in, correct? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love how Virginia is just at the bottom of everything. Literally type in V and it takes you to all the Vs. Virginia Islands is up here for some reason. I'm not very sure, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and put Virginia. And what is that zip code? Okay. Okay. All right. So I got that in there. Now we do have an option for an emergency contact. Don't know what could really go wrong in a library, but just in case, do you want to do that? Okay. And what is your relationship to this contact? Your mom. Okay. Very common. I use my mom for everything too. So it's your mother. Okay. Does she live at the same address currently? Okay. So I'll just go ahead and copy and paste that right here. Only thing that I really can't copy and paste is the zip code for some reason. But that's okay. I'll just I'll type that in. It's okay. All right. And what is a good number to reach your mother by? Okay. Area your code the same. Perfect. Okay. program that we do, we just send out things that could be happening with the library, some events, um, you know, it, it reminds you when your, um, your book is due, um, if you have any fees, anything like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and get you set up. What's the email you want to use? Okay. Sorry about that. Someone opened, uh, the front door. Hold on. I'll tell you in a second. Let me just type your email in. Okay. 
So I left the front door of the library open and there is just flies everywhere. And I have to keep shooing them away from my drink because, oh my goodness, it has been so bad lately. It also is like, um, quite humid, I feel like, in here because of the fact everybody kind of just left the door open so the humidity from outside exactly has come inside and it is such a bother. It's like heck on wheels. There's bugs, there's humidity. Like if I wanted to work outside, I would have been a construction worker, not a librarian. Yeah, ridiculous. Okay. So it looks like we have your first name, last name. Okay, hold on a second. Make sure that I have everything, okay? Um, okay, so now I kind of just have to brief you on some of the stuff and the policies that we do, you know, use. Is that okay? Do you have time to do that today? And then it's going to pop up on your side and then you just hit agree after I read it to you, okay? I'm going to summarize this the best that I can because I don't want you to have to sit here and kind of just wait and go through things, okay? So, um, as I sit and talk, I'll try to show you a little bit about us, okay? So, the library here is very forgiving. If you're talking to the right person, we can pretty much override anything with past due amounts. We also have a really great system where it's only 10 cents a day um, to, you know, if you forget to bring back your book. So it's pretty affordable. And that's kind of our goal with this library was to make it affordable for the community that we are in. So essentially the first time you check out your books, the first, I believe, month that you have your library card, which Yes, you can grab it once it's done printing out on the printer, okay? It's it's just a plastic card, right? Yeah, no, mm, did you want to take a picture for your library card? You don't have to. Yeah. Some people do and some people don't. A lot of times when people come in and get their library card, they'll find themselves not looking up to par or not looking how they would like to look for their library card. So we always offer the option to come back and take a picture for your library card. So if you do want to come back and take it later, or if you don't want a picture, that's fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this for you, okay? For the first month that you do have your library card, okay, that first month you're allowed to check up to five to ten books at a time, okay? So up to ten books, basically, all right? You can check up up to ten books. You have three days with the book, okay? Three days to read the books that you have, but if you renew the books before that three day deadline, so 72 hours, 72 hours when you check it out, if you renew it in time, yes, you get another three days. So technically you get six days with the book. Now after that first month, if you're in good standing with the library, you can check up a book up to a week and then it can renew for another week. Exactly. And the same thing applies to all medias that we have. So the video games, the DVDs, the tape recordings, um, magazines, recipe books, those exactly the same amount of time. Right. Okay. So that being said, if you do fail to return the books by the allotted time for that first month, and the months after, uh, the fees is 10 cents a day. Now, looking at your past history from the last library that you went to, it looks like you were in great standing. So that library forgiveness that we have is much easier to obtain for you because of your standing before. Okay, so that is amazing. Congratulations, you're doing a great job, sweetie. Okay, um, 
but that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, if you're in the game room, just make sure that uh, you put back the things that you use. And since we are still dealing with a lot of uh, COVID items and COVID uh, policies, we do require that you wipe things down once you leave the station. And if you are not vaccinated, we would appreciate you wearing a mask when you do come in, okay? Amazing. Awesome. Okay. That is pretty much the gist of everything. Um, other than you break it, you buy it. <laughs> but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. So if you look on the pin pad in front of you, right, just hit agree. And then you're going to do a little e-signature. Okay. You're going to do a little e-signature and that's pretty much saying that you agree to everything that I just said. You understand and to the best of your ability, you will not be breaking any library rules. Okay. Great. Uh, I should warn you that uh, if you do fail to pay your library dues within a month or two, depending on who's watching in the accounting um, section of the library. We do send library fees to collections. Yes, because they would be marked as past due. Uh, so there's not much that I can do once it goes to collections. That is way above my pay grade, um, but you'll start to see this a lot on your uh, letters that we'll send to your home. If we can't reach you by phone number, email, then we'll, we, we, we will start sending things to the home, okay? That's just pretty much to let you know, hey, we don't wanna ruin your credit that bad, okay? Uh, but it's it's, pretty simple. It's, it's, it's 10 cents a day um, and everything is forgivable pretty much. So it takes a lot for us to send something to collections. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and uh, sign there with your e-signature. Okay. Uh, we're also going to have to have a pin number set up. So give me a second while I pull that up really quick. I do want to get you set up with a pin number for your card. Okay. Okay, just gonna read this. Okay. Um, so, when we do these pin numbers, it's four digits, okay? Four digits and we always suggest that these four digits aren't you know down the line on the pin pad all ones all zeros your birth year anything like that we really don't want anyone to be able to guess it common sense just don't do it okay so go ahead and think of a four letter digit for me while I go ahead and get the information pulled from your application um, to the pin pad entry, okay? Give me one second. Okay. I hate sometimes when I'm filling out something and the tab button won't allow me to go to the next line and it makes me use my mouse. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So ridiculous, but that's okay. That's okay. 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 So it looks like it's ready for you on your end. Have you thought? Did you did you find out which one you want to use? The four uh, four uh, digits. I was gonna say four letters. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. Missing books, missing everything. You know, people don't really think. It's fine. It's fine. Did you think about it? So go ahead, it's gonna read a pop up on your side. Go ahead and type in those four digits, like so, okay? Great. Okay, so on this next page, it's just gonna make you re-enter that information to make sure that you're not hitting the wrong numbers. It's I know it's tedious, but it's for the best because we would hate for you to set a passcode and you accidentally mistype something. 
that you thought was good. Ex exactly. And then you come back in, you're like, oh my gosh, my passcode's not working. And you're like, oh my gosh. It's fine. Okay. So it looks like we are all set and ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and grab that off of the, um, the printer there. Now what I really want to do, now that you have your books, you gave them to me first, okay? So you actually got some of the newer books, which I'm really excited for you. Really excited. So this one, oh, you love romance. I have read all of these online. I know, shame on me. I work at a library and I, and I read ebooks. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm just not patient enough for the library to come and get it for me, okay? But, um, yeah, so you grabbed it? Okay. So, wow, these are fresh books. These are all really nice books. All new. Yeah, you can see that we just picked this one up. Just picked that one up. This one's with Tate, isn't it? It is. Wow. So, as you can see, we did just get these books. So I do have to do some filling out on my end. So I do have to fill it out just a little bit. Just bear with me, okay? We'll get it all filled out. Um, let me see. Okay. Okay. So you, you got a good number of books here. It looks like you have five. So let's see what you have. So you have... It Ends With Us. You have a lot of Colleen Hoover books. Are you a TikTok fan? Yeah. Uh, this is also a really great book. It, uh, it has a lot about domestic uh, abuse, domestic violence. Uh, really great books you picked out. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe start checking those out for you. I do have to fill them out, like I said, because they are new. Okay. Do you have a color preference? I love baby blue. I think baby blue is really pretty. I love that color. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on a second. I'll just... I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll use... Let's use... I think I'm gonna have to use the white. I mean, um, the yellow. Yellow highlighter just because of the fact um, I'm using colored pens for this and I think it would be best that's fine we'll just use these yeah we'll use black and yellow black and yellow black and yellow <laughs> yes okay. okay so so in the back of your books that you check out in the future you'll find these bad boys and they're just going to contain your little slip okay and it goes right in these pockets okay this tells you when they're due we do do some things old-fashioned because there are some people who do prefer looking at this than actually going and you know using their online services which is fine we love good old-fashioned people you know but um yeah so let's go ahead and work in the system it ends with us you can also, if you're trying to find any books, you can also uh, use the lookup and search engines that we have on the end caps of all the... Yes, you've already seen it? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Seems like you're pretty first in it. Alright, so we got that on. This one is already electronically checked out. Just gonna stamp it. Okay. So ends with us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll learn to you. Today's date. What's today? The 22nd. 22nd. 2021. Okay. I always like to blow it because I don't like transfer. Okay. So go ahead and put that aside for you. This one. Okay. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. 
This is a book club favorite. Taylor Jenkins Reid. Wow, you have good taste. Good, 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 good taste. Go ahead and stamp this one. Okay. Go ahead and take our cards. And these are pretty sturdy cards, okay? Pretty sturdy. Um, so don't be scared they bend a little because they probably will, okay? So go ahead and stick that in there. I'll go ahead and pull that up. Oh. Okay. Taylor, oh, there's multiple of these. Wow, okay. date. I'm going to do this multiple times and I promise you I will still forget today's date when I have to write it over and over and over again. One, two, okay. Okay. Very nice. Good new book. Good, good, good. It's a great new book. Okay. So put that right here, okay? Okay, so, ooh, All of Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Another great read. Okay, okay, type it in first. Gotta, gotta put it in the system. Okay. <laughs> It's always uh, really tricky for me to do uh, uh, numbers, a series of numbers. It's always really hard. That's good. Okay. Perfect. As you can see, you have all the new box. That's amazing. You have great taste. Great, great taste. Uh, like I said, it's always going to be in the back the back of your book, okay? So even if you don't feel like logging on to um, check to see when these are due, because I know I, I feel the same way entirely sometimes, so you can literally just check the back of this book in and out, like so, and then let's go ahead and stamp it, and to blow on the inks before um, closing the books or anything really. You don't want to ruin ruin the books. Always protect the books, okay? So, ooh, another Colleen Hoover. Saw this one earlier in your hands. This one is Ugly Love. Oh, this one just, I when I read this one, this one tore me up. Um, 
I highly suggest that you take your time with this one along with It Ends With Us, along with this next one too. These are my top favorites. Top, top, top. Top, top, top. Hmm? Why I like this one. This one, I, I love any romance, I think. But uh, this one really didn't come together till the end, so you really didn't think that they were going to end up together, right? Um, but when they did, it was beautiful. And um, the tragedy, it's like a romantic tragedy, almost like um, the things that he went through was very traumatic. And it's, it, it gives very much real life um, problems, which I enjoy. I don't enjoy books that uh, have fake problems, so let's go ahead and get this checked out, okay? Ugly love. Colleen Hoover. You can always tell that these are new books coming in because we have multiples because we know a lot of people are going to want to see it and read it. off again. Okay. Okay. Another one in your box. Okay, this is your last one. This is such a good read. Other. Oh. Love and other words. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. This one has been around for a little bit now, so this one already has its little uh, card already placed. You are about the third person who's used it. So let's go ahead and pull it up. Uh, another card. Great. Okay. Okay. For some reason, this one actually says that it's not in the library, but I have it in my hands. So let's go ahead and fix that. Okay. Okay. Let me get this checked out to you. I like how in the back of this book they have the pictures. Is there anything else that we can do for you today? Okay. Thank you. Actually, you know what? I'm not sure if you have um, any actual, um, what can I say, um, bookmarks. So 
here is your first bookmark. I love to give these out to people when they first come in. Um, they're my favorite bookmarks. They're food bookmarks and I love donuts. I love donuts. I love donuts. And I love snacks. So I think this is very appropriate to give you guys. So I hope that you have enjoyed visiting us and I look forward to seeing you back in the library soon, okay? Here's a bookmark for the go, okay? There you go. Hmm? So, yeah, so we're open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., so 12 hours. Yes, but if you do need anything in between those times and, um, or in between those times, you can come in. Anything after hours, um, we do have a 1-800 number that you can call for general questions or anything like that, okay? Okay. Amazing. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>